Miss Starla and today I want to do a video on I don't know if I how to word this let's just get straight to it so I'm in my little notebook so on today's episode of catching more money with honey I'm gonna teach you about using your feminine charm to get all the things you want. So in today's society, and always like this, but in today's society, women have had to take on the roles of both the father and the mother. In these roles, it doesn't allow or leave much room to be a feminine woman. The independent woman, she's first on this list. The independent woman feels she doesn't need a man for anything. She can do all things by herself. She pays her own bills. She takes care of her kids and herself, her household, even the, <laughs> you know, she does it all for herself. So, if you do it all for yourself, what role do you leave the man to play or a man to play if you're the masculine? Oh, I hear you all have a question. You all have a question for Steve, and it is? Yes. Yes. Hi, Steve. Hi. Uh, our question is, these are all my best friends, and we're successful, intelligent, and beautiful women, as you can see. <laughs> um, we're successful entrepreneurs. Uh, brand marketing specialists, you know, fashion designers, et cetera. And where do you find not just a man, but a good man? You mean, where do you find? I mean, mm -hmm. look, we don't know where you find a great woman at, you know? I mean, you know, they just happen along. There's no, there's no particular spot to go. You can't go to a club and he's going to be there. He may not be at church, you know? He just, he just happens along. But you are a very successful woman, and I think... Sometimes, sometimes, I'm just saying something, just give you something to think about. Some successful women have had good men and didn't know it because you do not know what comprises a good man. You don't know the DNA of a good man. See, a, a man shows his love very differently from a woman. And I call them in the book the three P's of love. We profess, we provide, and we protect. If you're so successful, and a man knows this, and you exude success, which you should. Please don't stop being successful. But understand, a man has got to see where he fits into the providing and protecting role. If you got everything, you know everything. You can do everything. No, you got your own please. car. You got, your, you got all this. You, you can protect. You got a guard dog and a handgun. <laughs> the guy is thinking, where do I fit no, in here? You've got to make a, a space for him to fit in so he can come in and do what men do. May, may I say this? I say this, this to my friend Gail all the time, who says the same thing you all are saying. Where do you find a man? Where do you find a man? You guys are intimidating to men. You guys oh, heard, we heard that. that. Well, okay, and let me just explain to you what I mean, because when I said that to Gail, she goes, I don't think that's true. Are they not, isn't this intimidating to, to man when you cannot find a way to do the three Ps, because a man is sizing you up, trying to see exactly what Steve was saying. Where does he fit in? Women with the handbags and the furs and the coats and the shoes, a guy is looking at all of that. Absolutely. Seeing if... If, if, he, can, if he can afford this. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Because in all relationships, there's only... There has to be balance of masculinity and femininity. So if you guys are both masculine, it's not gonna work. If you guys are both feminine, it's definitely not gonna work. So this is where balance comes in, right? Then we have the women because of all there and I'm not gonna take away I don't mean to take away from your experiences that have brought these emotions and these thoughts thought patterns onto you where now you feel like you have to be or because of the guys that you have given yourself to emotionally 
um, that you feel like you have to be a provider for? We have a lot of women that try to compete with men or outdo men because they can. And I mean, it's cool and all until you're 60, 70 years old saying, and you don't need a man for nothing and it gets it gets lonely I, I can i can imagine uh, this new agenda which is also being pushed to control the narrative of this masculine feminine thing Feminism, feminism, feminism. Is anybody else tired of this phrase, the feminist made up called toxic masculinity? You know, it's always some bullshit they trying to do to bash men. And what kills me is that black women picked up feminist rhetoric as if it was ours. Bullshit. Feminism wasn't here to protect or progress black women or their communities. In fact, feminism recruited black women as a tool to help the white woman. Meanwhile, white feminists were never there for the black struggle. Anyways, toxic masculinity doesn't even fucking exist. What exists is a lack of masculinity. It's the lack of true masculinity that has surfaced as a major issue in our community. A lot of the personal grievances and disruptions that's going on in our community is happening because people are being overly emotional. So does that mean it's actually toxic femininity that's causing the problem? No, oh, no, I'm gonna let you feminist fucks figure that out. Being equal to a man doesn't do any, do you any good, period. <laughs> like, let's just keep it that way. Even though you know or you are capable of being his equal or above, you, it is not beneficial for a feminine woman to want to compete with a man like what good would that bring you like um <clears throat> i got a fifty thousand dollar bonus um how's your job going still getting paid 10 50 an hour okay so now if you take on the role as the provider what do you think your man is going to do sugar mama <laughs> um oh my god this one i need to talk about because it drives me crazy every time i see it to the roof i want to hear the rest of the story desperado and i actually really like this girl i know i can tell that she's had a a past but it doesn't excuse and it doesn't excuse it because we're all at the age or we should be at a maturity level now where we can take accountability for the things we've done or been through. And I am thoroughly annoyed with the way B. Simone and any woman that feels or thinks like her that needs a boyfriend. <laughs> like you're only attracting needy bleachy men that don't want anything from you they just know that you want a boyfriend so basically you would take anything that comes along like you have said like well not you but like b simone has said maybe you too <laughs> that as long as he has a pulse you good you know baby yes i have a pulse and several able to be written on a check to deposit in my bank account yeah <laughs> it's it's not cute the desperation vibes of needing to prove yourself to a man or show him that you're the best pick usually nine times out of ten you don't get picked telling someone to pick you I feel like women should be like butterflies, beautiful, alluring, but hard to catch. 
and a lot of women are like flies busy annoying and uh just turn the light on <laughs> <clears throat> this I have the topics I'm hungry I don't know if I can um, <clears throat> deliver this footage the way it should be but we're gonna work on Looking and feeling sexy and attractive without doing too much. If they love you, they're gonna suspend on you the last. They're gonna cash out. Cha-ching! Have them spend on you. Stop playing with them. We ain't playing no games. We want money. What's up? <laughs>